Let's see. Let's see what comes out. I hope you guys are having a good day. And please like the video, all right? So we can get to those who need to see it. All right, this came out in the last reading. We got love and we got blessings. Compassion, rainbow. So love, rainbow, compassion, blessings. We also have movement. So I feel like you're getting ready to um, see some movement in your love life. Okay, this is going to be a blessing or some of your blessings coming in. It says blessings, more than one. Anything else? Okay, let's see what else we got here. The arts. Someone could be an artist or play the guitar or the piano. A musician. Doesn't have to be a musician, just someone who um, creates. You guys, I was going to say uh, like Empress Energy and then the Empress came out in the other card, which is fertility, okay? Because it create someone who creates is like Empress Energy, right? Sacral Chakra. That's funny. I was thinking it and it came out. All right. Uh, let's see what this is under here. Let's pull on this deck here. Exile and birth. So someone could have felt um, like left out or different from other people since like child, like since childhood. We got dancer of lies. Why is this here? Why is this coming out with this energy? Somebody could have been lied to, or somebody could have lied to you, or you could be a liar. <laughs> Put it how it fits. Something was a lie. What is this? It's all that wants to come out of this deck. I'm not going to force it. Ugh, I'm going to put that back. I'm going to see what it was. Sorrows. So someone may have lied to you. They could be sad about this. Um, strength could be a Leo. Or someone with Leo in their chart. Or this is you who has Leo in your chart. And we got a journeyer. Alright. So. The spirit of destruction. What the fudge? Hmm. Someone could have lied to somebody. Could be a Leo. Or someone lied about you or whoever you're dealing with. Okay? This person had to find their strength in this situation to go on this journey. I'm picking up on, like, slander. Okay? Slander and lies. Gossip. Um... Lying on somebody, trying to just trying to destroy their business, okay? This could have frustrated you. Or this person is frustrated that they did this. Let's see. Yeah, the truth, because the truth is out. They know the truth about you now, okay? What else? Knowing. You could already know this, or you could have already known this was happening. Some some people, like the high priestess, moves in silence, right? She knows things, but she don't speak about it. She just lets people play their moves, and she acts accordingly, right? She knows what she knows. She's going to move forward regardless. Um, yeah, beginnings. Okay. 
So maybe there's someone new about your 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 new beginning, your new fresh start, your new life, and they wanted to cause problems for you, so you couldn't do it. Like so, you couldn't have that. They tried to hold you back. Um, they tried to put put things in your way so that you would be stuck in that old cycle. Okay, but I feel like the divine worked very closely with this person here to get out of that. Okay, mysteries and knowing. So you might, so things may have been veiled for a purpose from you. Like, um, th they may have, um, hid things from you intentionally. Okay. Because I feel like you're bringing justice to a, some situations here. And if you knew what, like you should have known, like what was going on, then this wouldn't play out the way it's playing out. All right. I'm picking this up. I feel like you, um, I'm picking up on someone like because it says nurture but this person's like in a box there or in like a, someone could be in jail too I'm seeing that um I feel like you um you started to show yourself love okay and that kind of um opened up it lifted the veil okay speaking your truth also um we got reflections so like doing doing the work um doing the work on yourself okay I'm picking up on like um, nurturing your flaws, like just um, learning to love all of you. Okay, we got birth and family, so I feel like uh, your family is about to have a new birth, or you're you're getting ready to birth a family. This could be your tribe, your soul tribe as well. I feel like you're ready for whatever is coming in here. Okay, a promise. It's it's the promise that God made you. Okay, this may have this may this promise may have been promised a long time ago for some of you, and it's here. It's here. Someone might want to apologize for lying on you. Ace of Pentacles. Why is that here? And the Ace of Wands came out back. Look at this. Someone sees that you are a blessing, right? They want to have a new beginning. There's lots of creativity, passion. Uh, you may have your guard up or uh, this person may have had their guard up with you. Uh, I feel like you're just protected. Uh, your social media, something to do with your social media. You could be guarding yourself. You could have been through quite a war here, um, but you're uh, like... So I feel like someone's letting gonna let their guard down here. So this is it goes from this to this. Okay, so you got the the eight wands behind you and you're holding one to this. So you're coming out of this energy here and moving into going um planning to like go somewhere, like journey, right? So your path is clear and it's bright, the sun is shining on it, so you're being guided. Okay, we got um, three of pentacles and the ten of pentacles. So you could have had a group of people who collaborated um, to take this ten of pentacles. Um, I feel like you did you did the work, the community, the community. I'm also here in the community. Um, I feel like you didn't you did something on your own you you got to this ten of pentacles on your own so i feel like something is being held back from you so you could come into your your birthright with no with no one's help because this three of pentacles is in reverse so this is like doing something on your own because this is usually like having a community with you it's building something um but it came out in reverse so it's like I feel like you you did this on you're doing this on your own because this person is also alone here all right and this person is alone in the three of pentacles like um collaborations i feel like you did something on your own though right and we got the wheel of fortune Yeah, this is your um, this is your birthright, your divine, your inheritance, your um, abundance, your prosperity, right? And this has to do with your work, because you're getting back what you put out. 
right? What goes around comes around. Are you protecting this? You may, you, someone may may not may be having a hard time letting go of something, okay? But I feel like you're finding your strength. What are they letting go of? Releasing something. What are they releasing? Could be a Pisces for some of you, a Leo. Um, yeah, you're releasing and you're keeping your boundaries in place. All right. Could be a Queen of Swords energy. This could be someone who's very, um, can be very cold. Queen of Wands, um, moving into calmer waters. All right, so I feel like someone is releasing whatever this is um, in the past, or it could be the past, or something you were refusing to let go of. You're now letting you're you're now letting it go. Like you're finding the strength to let it go. Okay, you're keeping your boundaries up and you're manifesting. You're moving into calmer waters. Okay, you could be um, creating something. Justice. The scales being balanced out here in spiritual. Um, whether this is manifesting down here uh, because this we got the seven of swords next to it, so I feel like you got liars, cheaters, stealers around you. Um, justice is here. Okay. Um, you could have a Libra who's being very sneaky around you, okay? Ding, ding. This person could gaslight you. Yeah, this could be family or someone in the family um, that left you out in the cold or left you out of an inheritance or left you out of something that you were supposed to get. Okay, yep, balance is being restored though. Also Sagittarius energy. So I'm picking up on Sagittarius and Libra. Yep, and a King of Wands out here. So balance is being restored when it comes to this King of Wands energy or um, this is you being a leader. Um, let me see. Someone was trying to win at all costs or you've defeated this, this whole situation here. When it comes to your family leaving you out financially, um, lack, making you feel like you lack stuff, their judgments being called. You defeated this. The horn's being blown. It's judgment time, okay? And now they're waiting for their ships to come in. Someone's ships are in the port, though. <clears throat> there's, a, there's a large ship out in the port, right? We got the Queen of Pentacles. So this is you being abundant. Um, a mother, very um, grounded and stable. Uh, and so we got, you could be making a decision here. Someone could be trying to make a, a decision. They could be in their head about this. This could be the Queen of Pentacles. Maybe this is in regards to your love life here. If you could have many options, but there's only one option that you want, and that's who the Most High has for you, okay? This could make you anxious, and we got the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck, all right? So you're looking for someone who is emotionally um, mature, okay? And then we got the High Priestess, all right? So, um, it's like all-knowing right you know you know it's the promise right it's what, what you were promised there's a lot of um competition and fighting surrounding this high priestess energy and this king of wands maybe or this high priestess is this king of wands um high priest high priestess whatever um so there's a lot of fighting surrounding an, um, a, an investment all right You were victorious over this, okay? Whatever this investment was, I feel like, or you're just investing in yourself and other people are fighting amongst themselves. Could be a Cancer and a Leo. It doesn't have to be. What's this card? Yeah, you walk, you're walking away from all the drama and the conflict to invest in yourself. 
and you're reaping what you're sowing, okay? Yep, that's the truth. All right, so you're doing the thing. You're rejecting things that don't serve your greater good, all right? I feel like you've healed your abandonment wounds, okay? You've done the shadow work. It's like you don't need anybody. Uh, you don't need anybody to, to make you happy. You, you found happiness within yourself. Yeah, you went through this transformation. You sure did. Yeah, now you're getting your wishes filled. Nine of Cups. You're emotionally happy. You're emotionally, um, you're good emotionally. And you're releasing these, these burdens put on you by other people, okay? They watched you burdened. They didn't do anything. They just watched you. Look at them in the background watching this person carry all that weight and they just sit back and watch. Nobody wants to apologize. They just act like nothing happened. Um, and they just watch you, seeing how burdened you are. This could be um, large groups of people. This could be government entities. This could be people who are actually supposed to be helping people in your situation that did nothing. They did nothing. You might be speaking the truth about this, and you might be very heavily protected. You might know this. A magician. You can um, make things happen with your mind, okay? Your thoughts, very powerful at this time. You know that, you might know this. Okay? The fool, taking a leap of faith. Okay. Hold on, kitty. I got her in the room. She wants to come out. She knows I hit record. Yeah, and you're going to get to your destination, and you know this. Someone could be coming towards you. They could have taken their time getting here, but this is your four of wands. This is your kingdom. This is your, um, your promise. Okay. Yep, the nine of cups came back out. Your wish fulfillment. Someone's about to take action. Six of Cups. Yeah, the Six of Cups is here. That's a um, reconciliation, or this is a past life soulmate, or... All right, let me see what else. Moving forward with this King of Cups here. This this person could have um, water in their chart. They're emotionally intelligent, okay? And you're going to be moving forward. This person could actually be on their way to you right now in this chariot here, okay? Or this is just you moving forward and you're in touch with your emotions, okay? You could be have heavy water placements. You could be in your masculine energy or you could be um, the masculine. Or you're going towards your... Your masculine. And the, this chariot's going one way. Everybody's head, they're, they're both these, they're heading in the same direction. Usually they're going opposite, trying to pull in opposite directions, but this person knows where she's going, right? And there's no brakes on this chariot. The lovers, okay? This is your, this is your, your partnership. People could be in their head about this. It could be, um, but I'm seeing communication coming in. Or something's going to move forward quickly. Like, um, yep, two of cups. I can't make it up. I cannot make it up. And this is something you don't see coming. Well, you do now, but <laughs> the, the moon. All right. Let's see. Um, let's pull a few Archangel Michael cards. Have confidence and self-respect, okay? Someone's very confident and they respect themselves or they're working on this now, okay? Or they had to work on this before this came in. Picking up on the sun energy, 
with have confidence here. So again, Leo, this heavy, strong Leo here. Right. Eternal love at the bottom of the deck. I can't make it up. It was just 2002, okay? Please like the video, guys. I appreciate every single one of you and have a beautiful day.